Hi there, this is Scott. And today Microsoft has come out finally with more details on the exam and certification changes that are coming up. They've released the syllabus or the topics of these exams onto the official landing pages. Now I want to start off with a caveat to say that I spent about an hour going through the PDFs for these exams. And so this is really just my first initial analysis and things can become more clear. Maybe there are Microsoft people out there who are answering questions and we'll find out more details as they come. But this is my first thoughts. Now to summarize, if you haven't noticed before, but Microsoft is planning to make changes to the exam codes in, in the coming months. So 103 will become 104, 203 become 204, 300 and 301 will become 303 and 304. The reason they do this is because they've got enough changes to the topics of the exams that it justifies a whole new exam versus the modification of the existing exam. In the past, Microsoft has done this, for instance, with the 534 exam became the 535 exam because Microsoft realized that the, the contents of that had changed enough. Now, let's put a caveat on this as well and say we're talking about something that's going to happen slowly over the course of 2020. So the betas are coming out in the February, March, and possibly April time periods. The doubt means that those things take about six weeks. We wait to get the results, maybe two months. So we're looking at at least March or April or May to get the live exams. And that means that there's going to be a parallel between the existing exams and the live, new exams being live at the same time. And so when are the existing exams going away? We don't know, but let's say earliest that could possibly be is June, maybe later. So if you are here in January going into February, worrying about a test that you're studying for, that test will still be there at least until June. Uh, that's what I think, right? Second caveat is if you've already earned a badge, if these things already exist on your transcript, then you really don't have anything to worry about because you've already passed the test and those certificates are valid for two years. We have to make a distinction here between the badges and the exams because there is a case where you've only passed one of the two exams required to get a badge and you're like, well, do I have to take the other one quickly? Well, if it's possible and likely that Microsoft will allow you to count AZ-300 with AZ-304 to make give you a badge, but that hasn't been announced yet and it's not guaranteed. So I would say between now and June, you should get your 301 if you're in that situation. Now let's look at the exams one by one. Hopefully this will, I can go through this pretty quickly, but the AZ-204 exam has um, mostly has some stuff removed from it. So there are two sections that were merged into one. So what was formerly infrastructure as a service and platform as a service is now being called compute. And then they've removed a number of topics such as Azure search, Azure batch, mobile apps, SQL database. Um, and I haven't noticed anything new that came along. So for AZ-203, people studying for that exam, if anything, the 204 will be slightly easier, or at least it'll cover less topics uh, in a different uh, percentage weights. So uh, when I go to do this course, I'm going to basically just mark these sections as um, only valid for 203. And we don't really know if we need any new uh, topics for that. Right now, as far as I can tell, there's not anything really new in the 204 exam. So my, my interpretation of this is that the developer exam has shed some topics. That means it's a more focused exam. For the 104 exam, which is administrator, the percentage weights have changed even more than the 204 exam. Uh, two sections, the subscription section and identity section, were merged into a single identity section. And the, there's less overall less emphasis on things like subscriptions. Uh, the percentage didn't change, but two sections became one. There's also a new section on monitoring and backup. I know that there were uh, talking about monitoring and other sections that's all been consolidated. There are also things about web apps and containers, which surprisingly aren't on the 103 test. And so my, my analysis of this is we are adding to the emphasis on monitoring and backup in the administrator space. So not much has changed, 
but uh, you're going to see more questions around setting up monitoring, logging, alerts, and of course, backup and recovery. In the uh, architect space, AZ303, which used to be 300, the percentage weights also changed. And surprisingly, there's one section that makes up 50% of the exam, which is deploy and configure infrastructure. And so when you're studying for the technologies exam for architects, you got to basically have your emphasis almost on the administration side where you're implementing architecture, ARM templates, doing deployments, and getting networks and security and things like that. They've removed the entire section on authentication and securing data. Although again, authentication is covered in other sections of this exam. So they didn't remove the topic entirely, they just removed the section. They've also removed things like messaging and auto scaling. Maybe those are more focused on development and on administration and less on architecture. And uh, they moved the SQL DB and Cosmos DB into its own section. It was already on the exam. It's not new topics. They're just into its own section. And I think they've, again, consolidated monitoring everywhere. So just like in the 300 exam, the 303, the, sorry, the, the 104 exam, the 303 exam has monitoring as its own thing. And uh, even though it was included slightly before, it's become a higher emphasis. So my uh, summary of the AZ300 becoming AZ303 exam is that monitoring is going up and development is going down. Less emphasis on developing stuff. And finally, the uh, architect design exam, AZ304, which used to be AZ301. Again, the percentage weights have changed and they just removed a lot of stuff. And my feedback is great because a lot of this stuff, as I was creating the content for it, it's sort of vague. It's not well defined. Like if you look at design data document flows, I did a lot of research within the Microsoft Docs site trying to find stuff about data document flows. And it's not really well documented. There's not really good content on that. Uh, so they've just removed gathering some of the vague stuff and in gathering information and requirements. Um, a lot of this stuff has just been removed. And then they've added this generic section called design and application architecture, which makes total sense. So being able to design applications that run inside of the architecture that you are designing, that, that makes sense. So the 304 exam is just more focused, removed a lot of stuff. And I say uh, hallelujah to this. This is a great uh, change in the architect design exam. So this is basically it. This is the overall, we've seen the 103 and the 203 and now the 300 and 301 exams, a couple have become more focused. Not a lot of new topics have been added. Keep in mind, Microsoft just came out in December with new versions of this exam. And so there's not really been a lot of changes in the platform since December. Here we are in January. And so there's not a lot of new topics being added, but again, some shifting of percentages, more focus on monitoring in those exams where that makes sense, removing some of the things on um, for developers and for architect designers where that makes sense. And overall, I think I'm in, in pretty big favor of these changes. So way to go, Microsoft. This has been Scott Duffy from Software Architect. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. This allows this video to get seen by more people. And if this was helpful to you, I really appreciate it. And I'll, I'll always be the first to keep you updated on what's changing in the world of Microsoft certification.